You're watching the station that cares for you. KWQC TV6 Quad City. Live from the Quad City's number one station for news, this is KWQC TV6 News at 10. That is going to be taped the whole history of my life, from the beginning to the end. And it's going to be in the Washington Museum. On the night Schindler's List airs for the first time, a Quad City woman talks about her part in Steven Spielberg's next Holocaust Memorial Project. Good evening, I'm Scott Sander. We'll have that story in moments. But first, topping our first six minutes tonight, entire towns along the Rock River shutting down because of flooding. Emergency crews have been working around the clock, rescuing stranded residents and fortifying sandbag walls. KWQC's Mindy Hegman joins us live from Hillsdale, Illinois, with an update. Mindy, is the situation getting any better at this hour? No, Scott, I'm sad to say it's not getting any better. As a matter of fact, it's getting worse. I'm standing here at the edge of the water where it meets the road here, and this is not where we were standing earlier today. Five hours today, five hours ago, we were standing, if you can see that boat right over there in the darkness, 20 feet behind that is where we were standing on dry ground, so the water is definitely rising. The folks here tell me, though, it's not rising quite as quickly as it was earlier, so at least that is good news. But the people of Hillsdale have, Hillsdale have learned a hard lesson in really how fast a river can rise. Here's Hillsdale around noon. The water creeps into the streets, but the roads are still drivable. Many people leave while they still can. About five hours later, the people who didn't leave in their cars have to be rescued by boat. Water even seeps into buildings on high ground, the old school, which is now an industrial cleaning company. I brought my wife and myself and my daughter. We came over here about 1.30 or something like that and worked till about 5 in the morning, moving the equipment around and, uh, and getting to higher ground. Larry Toppert says he came back around noon to survey the damage and couldn't believe his eyes. By the time we came out, it went from about six inches of water in the road to about two and a half feet. And that's just in a short period of time, about two hours. So. Now you're going to hear those same kind of stories in both Erie and Cleveland. Those towns are evacuating it as well. Homes and businesses are being filled with water. Actually, we just heard at 9 o'clock here in Hillsdale, the fire station shut down. They also filled with water. So uh, those folks are cleaning that up right now. And as a matter of fact, um, also we wanted to let you know that uh, the, it has, the Rock River has crested in Joslin, but they're not sure when it's going to crest here. The ice jams are making all those levels very unpredictable. Reporting live in Hillsdale, Mindy Hageman, KWQC, TV6 News. Mindy, let's talk about communities just downriver from you. Are, are those nearby towns getting ready for flooding there? Yes, as a matter of fact, they are. There's already a little bit of flood, flooding on Carbon Cliff, and folks there say that if you need sandbags, the place to pick them up is Park Avenue and Sinclair Boulevard. All those folks who need sandbags to fortify their homes. There you go. All right, Mindy, thanks for the update. As she mentioned, flooding from the rock and other rivers is causing a few problems for area schools for their schedules tomorrow. Erie Schools and Aldrin Junior High are both canceled for tomorrow. Elsewhere, parents and students need to know about bus route changes. DeWitt Central Community Schools and West Liberty Schools are only running buses on hard surface roads. Apollo is in session, but there will be no bus service to Barstow or East Lawn. Let's now look, take a look at the uh, latest water levels and crest estimates. Uh, the rocket Joslin is at 15.2. Mindy just updated that for us right now, though. It is now apparently at the crest level of 15.5. Uh, that's again in Moline. I apologize. 15.2 in Moline. It should crest uh, later today. It is at its crest level, uh, 18.6 in Joslin. The Cedar uh, River in Conesville is at 13.3 feet, uh, but that has crested. The river is falling there just about a foot and a third um, above flood stage at this hour. Uh, we'll bring in Eric Maitland now for a look at our first forecast. We've really watched